Earlier today, I had the really great fortune and the blessing to attend a very dear friend's father's memorial service. And, you know, it, it's a beautiful day in Los Angeles. Um, it's warmer today, beautiful breeze. Sun was out, you know, kind of fresh feeling in the air. A little odd for it being wintertime here, um, but it is Los Angeles. And, you know, the, the church is up on Mulholland Drive, you know, this famous street here in Los Angeles that overlooks the entire uh, valley on one side and the city on the other. And it's, you know, it's a, just a magnificent, magnificent day. And as I, you know, went to go support my friend, I was, I started to think about, I started to think about, you know, of course, we're, <laughs> we're all here for uh, a certain amount of time. We don't know how long that time is. And we know that we do have this life. I like to say, and this is what I talk about um, when I talk about our bodies. I talk about this at the Rock Your Mojo Women's Weekend. And I say, hey, look, we get this rental vehicle. It's the one that we get in this lifetime. We don't know how long the contract is for or the lease is for for this rental vehicle. And it's the one we've got. And it's going to expire at some point, right? So today, celebrating and honoring the life of my friend's father, I really, of course, you, you know, when you're in the face of death, you start to think about your life a little bit. And when you, you know, begin to think about your life and, uh, and, and, and you wonder, hey, okay, you could, some people maybe get really philo philosophical. Is that you? Uh, do you start to think about all the things you haven't done that you really wanna do? Is that you? Maybe you start thinking about all the things that either you regret or you wish you did differently. What I'm curious, what do you think about actually when you're in the face of uh, death, right? If you've experienced that, maybe someone, some of you who are out here haven't even experienced um, death close to you yet, but I'm gathering most of you have. So I am curious, what, you know, what do you think about? So as I was up there at this beautiful, beautiful church um, with this gorgeous view and, um, you know, going to sit down in the pews for the, uh, the service, you know, and the service was just lovely. And one thing that, that um, you know, that occurred to me was, let me jump back for one second. When they played the the slideshow, right? So they they played. It, um, my friend put together this beautiful, beautiful slideshow of her father's life, and it was fun because look, I don't, I you know, I'd met him a few times, but it's not like I really knew him, and so it was interesting to look at these slides of this person's life, right? Who I knew of, had said hello to a few times, but didn't know many details about. And when the early photos came up. Right, the ones about, you know, from his childhood and seeing him as a little boy, you know, baby, and then a little boy with his parents. I got this m major flood of, you know, thought, spirit, intuition, whatever you want to call it, but it just flooded over me. And I, it reminded me, and I said, you know, we all, we all go through stuff, right? We all like, what, what, what's your slideshow going to be, right? Well, I was thinking, what's my slideshow going to be at that moment? And what moments would be picked uh, to be put in that slideshow? But here's, here's what I really thought, especially seeing the, the young, the photos of him as a young man, young boy. To recognize and that we all go through our life's experience, right? We come back, I talk about this all the time um, in my mentorship and with the women, that my clients, the women I work with and I serve. And this is something we talk about a lot at the Rock Your Mojo Women's Weekend. The fact that we are all born whole and complete. And I'm, and I'm really curious, like, do let me know, do you believe that we're all born whole and complete? I do. I believe that we are born completely with our mojo intact, like completely intact, nothing missing. And then we start to go through life and we have experiences and we have some wonderful experiences and we have some medium experiences. 
all of our life's experiences get layered in our bodies. And the difficult experiences are the ones that can dim the mojo light, right? Like it turns the volume dial down. And these are what I call kinks. And I was very present to this as I was watching this slideshow of this man's life. You know, he was in his early 80s when he passed recently. And I thought, wow, we all, we, you know, we all go through stuff. And it is then our choice, especially when we get information that can support us from shifting out of the challenges and the traumas and what I call these kinks that dim the mojo. We have a choice in who we're going to be about it. And, and it's one of those kind of beautiful gifts of life that there is death. Because I wonder if we didn't have death, would we even go into these inquiries? You know, would we even consider who we're being and how we are living our lives? And so while I know this one is, is a, a bit more philosophical and esoteric in terms of the mojo moment today, and I really do believe these are very important things to consider. And these are important things to think about because they, they allow us to churn our inner being. And hopefully, hopefully when we churn our inner selves enough that we sprout absolutely abundant, fruitful, beautiful, magical lives, right? So we're all going to go through stuff. And, you know, it's, it's important to choose. It's important to choose in every moment. And I invite you to choose Powerfully. That's what I tell my ladies. Always choose powerfully, right? Make sure you choose powerfully. And also take the next available step. And sometimes the next available step is very challenging, right? It's something that, you know, might be really hard and it might mean letting go of something that has felt really comfortable for a long time. But really look at what do you want your life to be? What, 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 is, what do you want your slideshow to be at your memorial? What are people going to be saying about you? And let that inform today. Let that inform right now. All right. This is your mojo moment. I am Deborah Kagan. And I'm doing this every day, live 365. And so if you're catching this live, I'm very pleased that you have tuned in with me here. And if you are catching on the replay, I'm equally as thrilled that you are tuning in for the replay as well. So wherever you are, I hope you are well. I hope that you are tapping into your mojo. And leave me some comments. Let me know your thoughts on this dialogue. And um, yeah, leave me your thoughts and let me know what's going on in this dialogue. Hello, Miss Anise. I think you will appreciate this conversation, although we are just wrapping it up. Um, and like I said, wherever you are, really just sending you so much love. Enjoy your morning, night, evening, um, afternoon, wherever, <laughs> wherever and whenever you are when you're tuning into this. I'm going to get myself ready for some Saturday night activities out here. And, um, and that's that. I will be back tomorrow with your next Mojo Moment. It's Deborah Kagan signing off for now. See you later, everybody. Much love.